Welcome to Mr. Beck Does Your Homework. This is homework number 2.1, question number 2. It says, light from the sun reaches earth in 8.3 minutes. How far is the earth from the sun? The velocity of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So first thing I want to do is go and identify any numbers that I have here as well as figure out what it is I'm looking for. Well, light from the sun reaches Earth in 8.3 minutes. There is some number and there are some units. I know that minutes is a way we measure time, so I'm going to write time t equals 8.3 minutes. Okay, what else do I know? How far is the Earth from the sun? What am I looking for? How far? That is a distance or a displacement. The variable that we use for distance or displacement is x. So x is question mark. I'm going to write it that way just so that I remember what I'm looking for. The velocity of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Well, that's clearly a velocity equals 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Now the problem is I need to find out if I have a relationship between my velocity, my distance, and my time. And I do. I know that my velocity equals my displacement divided by my time. Since I'm looking for my displacement, I'm going to solve for x before I plug any numbers in. So that means I'm going to multiply both sides by t. And what that will rearrange to be is x equals v. Uh, uh, x equals, let's write it this way, x equals vt. Now I can plug in time of 8.3 minutes. I can plug in velocity of 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. The problem is this is minutes. This is seconds. Minutes and seconds will not cancel out when I multiply those together. So I'm going to take my time of 8.3 minutes and I'm going to convert it into seconds. The way I do that is a standard conversion. I like to write times and draw a line and take whatever's up here and put it down here. So I'll put minutes here and then I want to convert to seconds. I happen to know the relationship between minutes and seconds where one minute is the same thing as 60 seconds. As long as I have the same on the top and the bottom where this is equivalent to that, then I can do my conversion and not change the amount that I have. So minutes is on the bottom, minutes is on the top. 8.3 times 60 will give me some answer in terms of seconds. Now I can do my displacement is my velocity times time. So my displacement equals my velocity, which is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, times my time. And my time is going to be whatever this is in seconds, this many seconds. Now I'll see seconds here and seconds here will cancel out. And that will give me some answer in meters, which is good because it says to answer in units of meters. So when I do 3 times 10 to the 8th times this answer, which came from there, I will have my answer in meters.